and review of our Purser screen that we got. So what I'm going to do is, we got this on the recommendation of our good friend from Scotland, Donald. Thank you, Donald. So the issue we have is when you put the roof up, the the canvas basically lets the wind in and stuff like that as well. So so this was recommended, and this is our first time using it. So I, although I've opened up the bag and I've had a look at it, we've never installed it. So. We'll have a go at installing it today and then see, see how we get on. Stay tuned. So the first thing we're going to have to do is open up the roof. Okay. So, okay, so clearly what, happened, what you have to do is you have to put it around the, you have to put it around the van and then I think it cable ties, not cable ties, bungee cords at the back. So we'll give that a go. Hold that there, Christian. Thank you. Now we'll see how, we'll see how easy is this to do. That's the top part, isn't it? This is going to be awkward, isn't it? I think you need the two of us to do that, Jay. Yeah. Right, okay, so how, how do you... What do you recommend? Just wait on around one side and hold it. And then you walk around the van with it, or... Because we need the little ladder so that you can push it in. Well, I think... No, I you, think you, go on the other, you go on the other side. Can I give what I think? Go on, yeah. Can I give what I think? So you know the way you, you stand up here on the oak? Yeah. So if you go up on the thing, put so it in place, and it catches in. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. That like, I think if we pull it, so you go up to the far side, right? No, no, no. Go around the other side. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, because I can leave a little label on. Go on, pull it into position. Have you got it? Too long. Anyway. Well, let's have a look. Is it on tight? Probably need to tie another knot in it. Okay. What do you think? Oh, it looks. Done the job. Okay, so the it's in place. I'd say I probably need to tie. So what, what you see there is I had to tie a knot in the bungee cord because it's a bit long. I actually didn't think it'd be long enough. It's a bit on the long side. It fits fine. So what I'll do now is I'll get inside with the other little camera and get some footage from the inside. Yeah, and then we can put the tent up. And then we can put the tent up. Yeah. So there you go. So, like, so I think I'd say another knot, another knot in the bungee cord. Probably. Yep. 
But, uh, but actually, you do need two people, kind of, probably, don't you? Right, I'll get inside. You'd manage it with one. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, as you'd expect. Much darker. Oh. Wow. Wow. Can I have a look? So there you can see, that's the nor that would be the normal light coming out at the end. But you can see it's much darker. That's cool. Like it's... it's so dark. And quieter. Yeah. So um, like, the only issue is obviously the only issue is the the little they're gone and we like them in the morning. The little vents were nice to look out of, weren't they, V? Yeah. So um, yeah. So look, I think um, the initial impression of it is I was a bit worried about putting it up. I thought it was going to be awkward, but the initial impression is it's good, isn't it? It's doing the job, isn't it? Yeah. Be interesting yeah. to see now tomorrow how it. Yeah. Yeah. Can we get going? Well, obviously with rain and everything, mm. and it's going to rain tonight. Rain's everywhere we go. Yeah. We bring the rain with us. All right. Okay. I tied another knot in the. I tied another knot in the doohickey. Okay, okay. So how did the how did the purse screen go? Um, it was fine. It did the business. Now last night was a very, very cold night. It was absolutely, I don't know what it was, but there was a lot of frost on the tent this morning when we came down. So the only thing I'd say is, as a screen, yes, it would definitely keep the wind out. Um, it would definitely, I could see how it would keep the heat in, but what we did was um, you would have to have the heat on. Uh, I didn't, I, I found, now that's, a, that's not the screen's fault, the issue being, um, on a very very cold night the van's going to cool down whether there's a screen on it or not so you would definitely need some kind of some form of heating so that's that's the thing so we again i'd say our little pipe our little tube that we connect up into the roof you would definitely need that um or you need to have the, the heating on full tilt in the van all the time just to keep the upstairs warm so that's just the report in to finish off how we did on that see you later <laughs>